Hey everyone, it's Marsha from SassyCritic.com and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing a hair color that I tried. It was sent to me by ONC Natural Colors. Here it is. In the color Caramel and I tried it out to see how well it worked. So I'm going to give you a review. Okay, so um, a rep from ONC Natural Colors reached out to me to offer me to try um, this natural hair color. It is free of ammonia, resorcinol, paraben, silicone, and nonoxinol. Um, it's free of those chemicals. It does have, here it says it has organic wheat protein, aloe leaf juice, comfrey leaf extract, orange peel extract, and chamomile extract. All of those are organic ingredients in it. Of course, it has other things, but they um, say that by using this product, you're promoting your health and the sustainability of the environment, and you are not using hair color that has a bunch of toxic chemicals in it, like a lot of box hair colors tend to have ammonia and things like that in it. So I chose the caramel color in 6CA, considering I haven't dyed my hair in a couple years. Um, I figured it wasn't going to come out too light. I knew it wasn't going to come out this color caramel like on the box. I knew it was going to be kind of like a darker brown. Um, so I decided to try it and it came with some, they sent some rather large um, cards. Here's just a informational card. Um, basically the company says that their hair dye is a permanent hair dye that's free of ammonia and is rich in certified organic ingredients, nutrients, and antioxidants, amino acids, and nourishing vitamins, and natural plant extracts. Chemical ammonia-based hair color uses high pH chemicals that are like 10.5 to 12.5 pH, um, and that tends to damage your hair. Their um, hair color has a lower pH of 8.5, which they say is not damaging to your hair. And instead of the ammonia, this hair color uses heat to get the color into the hair, to penetrate the hair shaft. And um, it is available in 29 different tones. It's also GMO-free, gluten-free, toxic-free, not tested on animals, and hypoallergenic and suitable for asthmatics. So just so you can see that there, um, this is one of the informational things that they sent. Um, let's see. And then this one is just kind of the instructions. Okay, so these are the instructions. I follow the instructions for um, people who do not have colored hair because it has been, like I said, about two years since I last colored my hair. So most of that color has grown out. It's kind of on my ends. So first what you do, well, first of all, it came with the gloves. It came with a plastic cap, a bowl, a mixing bowl, and a brush. I kind of threw those things away so I can't show them to you, but it came with that stuff as well as the color. And um, so I mixed it up, mixed the colors. I preferred to do it in the squeeze bottle instead of using the brush because the brush to me was just taking too long. So I put it in my hair following the instructions. You leave it for 10 minutes, not getting the roots. And um, after that 10 minutes goes by, you then put the remaining color onto your roots and everything. And then you uh, put the plastic cap on and for fine hair and for really thick hair, you um, either go under like a dryer for 20 minutes or you can just kind of blow dry it over the cap for 20 minutes. So what I did was I put the plastic cap on and sat under my bonnet dryer for 20 minutes to help the color penetrate into my hair. Then, so it's 30 minutes processing time. 
the same amount of time that it usually is for a regular um, box dye that you would buy at the store. So that wasn't too bad at all. The instructions were pretty um, simple and straightforward. Um, so there was no issues with that. I washed it out. They sent also little packets of shampoo and conditioner. So I shampooed it and conditioned and everything. And my hair felt really soft afterwards. I will say the smell of the hair color was not very strong. It had a nice sweet smell. I believe in the pamphlet I read that it should have like a banana smell. I don't remember smelling banana, but it was a nice little sweet smell. There was a very small hint of chemical smell but not strong at all um, so it was a pleasant experience it wasn't messy um, surprisingly because in the past when I've dyed my hair I kind of get dyed all over the place but this was not messy um, so I washed it out styled my hair as normal and then waited for it to dry immediately I could see that the color took right here um, right at the very front of my hair I could see that it was brown sorry that's my dog shaking off <laughs> um, I could see the color um, and so after my hair dried and I fluffed it out um, I will insert a picture right here to show you how my hair looked in the end as you can see it did get a little bit lighter um, not as light as I would have liked it to. The color didn't come out as I expected it to. Now, considering my hair was very dark, it wasn't exactly black, but a very um, dark brown, um, I thought the color was going to show a little bit more. So here it is here. Also, this is day two, um, and I still don't really see the color that that much it's not very bright but I'm assuming because from my previous experiences that maybe as the days go on the color might start looking a little bit lighter I can still mostly see it just right here at my hairline and right in the little corner here um, now one other thing that this brand says that it does is that it covers gray hairs um, it actually says to, if you have over 40% of gray hair, they have specific um, a specific line of colors that you should purchase. My hair is not even 40% gray. I do have some gray hairs like randomly all up in the top of my head. Unfortunately, this color did not cover my gray hairs. They are still gray. They are still silver and refusing to be colored. So if you color your hair and you have gray hair, you might understand that struggle of trying to cover these grays that just don't want to be covered. So um, that didn't work for me. Um, but all in all, I would say that this hair color is not bad. I do like that it is pretty much mostly natural and made with organic ingredients. I'm pretty sure there are there is some chemical in there, um, but in comparison to regular box dyes, at home dyes, it's probably better for you because it has less of those toxic chemicals in it. Um, other than that, I do like the color tones that it comes in. Obviously, I've only tried this one, um, but it, they do have a nice range of colors. Um, it works for different hair types, um, but I would say the cons are it did not cover my gray hairs, and the color did not come out exactly quite as caramel colored as I had hoped all over my hair it's just kind of like in mostly in the front but like I said maybe it'll change I don't know but I like to kind of see those immediate results so um, I guess we'll just have to see um these are sold online and I will put the price right here you can purchase on their website and I've also seen them for sale on Amazon as well. So if you're interested in doing a mostly natural hair color, um, 
This is definitely a company to consider, ONC Natural Colors. Um, of course, there are even more natural ways to dye your hair, but like henna and things like that. But if you're not into doing that, because that is a time-consuming process, and if you want to do something a little bit quicker, but still mostly natural, this is definitely a brand that you could um, try. Not if you're trying to cover grays, though. If you were really wanting to try something to cover grays, I would definitely say this is not it for you. At least not for me, in, in my experience. Um, so kind of, you know, use your own judgment with that. And that's about it, guys. That is my hair color. Follow me on Instagram and where I will post, um, pictures and you'll see kind of like the, the journey of this hair color to see if it lightens up or not. I did post kind of my, um, process of doing the dye on my hair on Instagram, on my Instagram story. So please make sure you follow me on social media, especially Instagram, Snapchat. I do have a Facebook page, which is Sassy Critic Vlog, I think it's called. <laughs> but anyway, other than that, guys, that's all I have to say. That's my review of this ONC Natural Colors hair dye. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.